Hi, it's Blake Davenport with the Davenport Group at Arla Real Estate, and today we're going to be reviewing the Alexandria City housing market as of March 2022 and five things you need to know. When we look back over the past 12 months, the average sales price in Alexandria City has increased by 5.6% to $690,000 roughly in comparison to $653,000 in March of 2021. During the month of March, the average sold to list price ratio is 101.5%, so everything is selling above the list price as expected for this time of year. In the month of March, we saw 380 homes listed. This was up 6.7% from 356 homes listed in March of 2021. Of the homes listed this March, we saw an average sales price of $718,000, which was actually up 7.9% of the homes listed in March of 2021, which was $666,000. So we're seeing more homes listed at a higher price. For the homes that closed in March, we saw a median days on market of six days in comparison to seven the year prior. While this doesn't seem like much, it's a decrease of 17%. So what is driving the real estate market this spring? Well, it really comes down to two factors. One of them being interest rates. The interest rates in January were at 3% for a 30 year fixed conventional loan. Now they're hovering around four and a half percent. So they've increased by 1.5%. And that is a huge amount. Just to put that in perspective, if you were to buy an average house in Alexandria for $690,000, the difference in monthly payment between the two months in January versus now is roughly $560 more uh, to buy a home. That is massive. So buyers are really feeling the pinch to buy something now before the interest rates increase further. Uh, the Fed has announced that they're going to be increasing them multiple times a year to combat inflation. Uh, so we do expect them to go up. So that's making buyers really want to get into a home. The next thing that's driving the market is really supply and demand and interest rates kind of feed into that demand. Right now there is just more demand then there is supply. There has actually more homes in the market than there were last year, but the demand is so great it makes it feel like there's barely anything on the market. So while interest rates are going up, and in the fall I thought interest rates would have uh, slowed the market down, because the demand is still there, demand is trumping uh, the low interest rates, which is continuing to drive prices and the supply is so low. So in summary, that's the perfect opportunity for sellers. It's still a very, very strong seller's market um, you know, where buyers are giving whatever the seller needs, whether it be two months of rent back for free to allow them to get into another home. So if you're thinking about selling, this is the time. You know, It will definitely slow down in the summer months. So now uh, until June is a great time. And then as you know, the summer months end in September you know, through uh, end of October is another great time. So um, if you're thinking about selling a house, we'd love to sit down with you and figure out what the best strategy to get you into your next home and to set a record sale. If you're thinking about buying, we'd love to sit down with you as well. And in this market with multiple offers being the norm, let, we want to figure out the strategy to find something off market and help you win in that multiple offer situation. If you're interested in sitting down, you can reach me via the email below, blake at the Davenport Group re.com or you can click the link um, to fill out the contact form on our website. But thanks again for checking out this month's market update. Bye-bye.